guys, um, sorry this video wasn't the greatest quality, I guess. I have been having a really hard few days. Um, those who know me know that I have um, been, I don't want to say struggling with, because I hate thinking about it like that. I've been affected, <laughs> affected by it. Um, depression and anxiety for a long, 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 long time, and I'm, I've been doing so well lately. I know a lot of people suffer from this kind of illness, and it's not something that any of us should be ashamed of or worried about talking about or anything like that, because it's just, it happens, and it's not, you know, it's not, it doesn't mean anything bad about you, it's just something that you have to deal with and it sucks a lot and um, still this is kind of hard for me to talk about only because like probably the rest of you I'm still scared that people are going to judge me for it or you know call me lazy or tell me it's all in my head well I mean it is all in my head that's kind of the issue but um, yeah so I've just been trying to stay on top of things by, you know, working out and um, going for walks and seeing friends and trying to be as open and honest as I can about how I'm feeling. And yeah, today I'm going to clean <laughs> my room because it's a big style. I have acting class tonight, I'm going to do some reading and I'm just going to try and be productive because I do not want to um, make myself feel worse by giving in to how I'm feeling and it's different for everyone I'm not saying that this is what everyone should do or anything like that it's absolutely different for everyone and there are days when I just can't get out of bed <laughs> for like a week and I don't want to shower I don't want to eat all that kind of stuff so yeah but I'm really determined to push past it this time I just want it gone and it's so frustrating it's one of the annoying things about it is it's just so damn frustrating. I'm getting emotional. <laughs> I've been so emotional all week because of this. And yeah, I just wanted to say that if you are going through something like this or something similar or dealing with any other mental illness, just um, it's important to make sure that you have a support network that you can recognize what you're feeling and where they're coming from and that you have um, methods for coping with what you're going through as well. It can take a long time to kind of get to the point where you're ready to even start thinking about that stuff, but it's a good idea when you when you get there to kind of um, make sure you have those kinds of things in place. Um, yeah, I will leave a couple of uh, links below for uh, resources that I personally use when, or have used in the past, when I've been feeling like I just need someone to chat to. Because sometimes you can't always talk to someone that you know. Sometimes it's easier if it's anonymous. Sometimes it's, you know, whatever works. Um, so I'll leave a couple of uh, resources in the down bar below. And yeah, I hope everyone's doing really well and that you're all having an amazing long weekend, um, even though it's it's finished now, isn't it? So it's Tuesday. I hope you had an amazing long weekend. I'm really bad with days and times. Um, I will have another video up on Saturday for my book chat stuff. Book chat that? <laughs> I don't know. I sort of have a name for it. If you didn't think of one for me, comment below and let me know or tweet me or something. Um, yeah, thank you so, so much for watching. And sorry this wasn't... Um, a funny video or a fun one or a stupid one or just me being my usual self. Um, this is just part of who I am and what I deal with. So um, I really appreciate you guys listening to me and hopefully supporting me just like I would support you if you ever, you know, needed to chat or whatever. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. Sounds really sad. I want to end on a, <laughs> I want to end on a happy note. Um, um, 
let me know what makes you happy below. Um, what do you do when you're having a down day? Do you make stuff? Do you write? Do you see friends? Go for a walk on the beach? I find the beach really relaxing because it's kind of like sitting at the end of the world and it's just so calming and quiet and peaceful and people just seem to be happier there. It's just a nice place to be. Hopefully I'll get to go a couple times this week. But yeah, let me know what makes you happy and what you like doing when you're having one of those days or one of those weeks or just whatever. And I will talk to you guys next time, probably with something a little bit more exciting than this, I hope. Thank you again so much for watching and I will see you later. I never know what to do with my hands at the end of this. See ya.